After a night of painful cold, today is a morning for hats, scarves, and definitely holding on to a hot cup of coffee. It's freezing out here. Braving the elements with bare skin could be downright dangerous. Dr. Robert Gladder at Lenox Hill Hospital expects the low temperatures to fill up his emergency room. Often what we see are people with numbness and tingling in their digits, their fingers, their nose, their ears. They're not covering up, and it's the exposed skin along with the cold temperatures that put you at risk for early stages of frostbite as well as hypothermia. His advice, layer up. But you don't have to be a doctor to know that. Those who work outdoors, like traffic agents or sanitation workers, say the same. Most of us wear that um, under armor because it holds the heat in, cover your face. As long as you move, you're going to heat up anyway. But it was an uphill battle for firefighters in New Brunswick last night. Water from their hose froze into icicles as they put out flames at a three-story building. Off the light posts and everything, you can see the icicles. The water's not even touching the floor before it, it's freezing. The chill made for a scary night in Mamarinick as well, after winds brought down a tree limb and left 50 homes without power or heat for seven hours. It's just absolutely freezing out. So I'm worried about the pipes freezing too. You know, that's a concern. Well, besides those layers, another way to protect yourself today is by drinking plenty of water. The Mayo Clinic reminding people that it is easy to get dehydrated with the whipping winds and the heavy breathing today, and it is, can be hard to realize just how thirsty you are. We're live on the Upper West Side, Allie Bauman, CBS 2 News.